Now, having listed all of the kind of main components of a modular blockchain stack, like how do we define what a modular blockchain is? So I define a modular blockchain as a blockchain that outsources fully at least one of the four components, like it, i.e. it does not handle that component. So, so for example, like Solana wouldn't be a modular blockchain if you just added rollups to Solana, because Solana's L1 still has a smart contract environment, and its, res and its validators are doing data availability consensus and execution, and they're not specialized in a specific task, and therefore it's not, it's not modular. So what is not a modular blockchain? Uh, so there's often some confusion on this. A, uh, like a blockchain that handles all the components but has a modular software design is not a modular blockchain. Uh, a modular software design can be helpful to build modular blockchains. Like we use Tendermint, uh, the ABCI construction in Tendermint um, is very helpful to build modular blockchains. But, the software, like, but deploying a blockchain using a modular software uh, library does not make that blockchain modular in itself. And secondly, um, a network of blockchains where each blockchain in the network handles all the components is also not a modular blockchain. For example, Avalanche subnets are not modular blockchains because each chain in that subnet in the network handles all the components that I just described. Therefore, it's not modular. <laughs> 